Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another Sinners Painting video. Uh, this video was originally supposed to be a full Grimwash tutorial, but due to time constraints on the commission, I wasn't able to keep recording it. So I'm going to try something new with this, like a quick tip type of video where I focus on one thing in a shorter format. Today we're going to paint up some ghoul skin, so let's do it. So I'm starting off with Vallejo's dark green ink through an airbrush over a basic Xenothal Prime. Now if you don't have an airbrush you could totally brush this on, just prime your model like you normally would and then you can do a dry brush of white or grey over top of it. You'll get the same sort of effect. I'm just using an airbrush here for speed and because it gives me an even application. The next step is Death Guard Green, thinned down quite a bit through the airbrush. The thinner paint allows me to have more control over my opacity and I'm still laying down base flesh tone here. I'm hitting everything but the darkest shadows. You can see as the Death Guard Green starts to hit the gradient we just established that the skin really starts to come to life. Uh, on life. So here I'm going in with my first highlight. It's Death Guard Green mixed with some Dead Flesh. I thinned it down quite a bit again for the same reason. This time I'm being more careful to only hit the higher points and the face to bring out some more contrast in the skin. This next step, I'm bringing it down a little bit and adding some definition to the recesses with a wash. This is Agrax Earthshade, a Chthonian Camo Shade, and Lamian Medium mixed 1 to 1 to 2. I'm being careful of pooling and coffee staining, but with the Lamian Medium, it kind of helps a little bit. Just keep working at it and make sure that it stays smooth and even. So now that we brought it down with a wash, we're going to bring the highlights back up again with the airbrush. This is the same Death Guard Green Dead Flesh mix as before, but I'm being extra careful with my control over the application of it. Now this is the final highlight and it's the last step for the ghoul skin. It's a mix of dead flesh and elfic flesh that's thinned down a little bit. I'm only hitting the highest points of the face, the muscles, and the scar tissue that's on their bodies.
As always, thank you for watching and I hope you like the shorter type of video. This isn't going to be the normal format, but it's something I'll throw in here and there. I'm also working on a few more videos, so hopefully I'll have something posted soon. I know things are a little crazy right now, but I'm not going anywhere. As always, I would greatly appreciate you subscribing if you like my content, and you can always check me out on Instagram. Till next time. It's a mix of dead flesh and elfish. It's a mix of dead flesh and elfic flesh. Elf, that's a hard word to say. It's a mix of dead flesh and elfic. Fuck.